What's your best customer isn't always right story. Most satisfying customer interaction of my cashier career was having the manager back me up on refusing to process a return for incense that didn't taste good. I used to work at McDonald's. A woman came in and ordered a Big Mac. Fries. And a drink. So I put her order in as a Big Mac combo since it is cheaper than getting those three things separately. She then proceeded to scream at me claiming that I am ripping her off and charging her for something she didn't even order. My manager then proceeded to simply charge her for those three things separately and she ended up paying more. I work at a concert venue. I had a customer call the day after the show wanting a refund because the artist did not play his favorite song during the show. Bonus points if his favorite song was by a completely different artist. Double bonus if the artist that wrote his favorite song is dead. I dealt with a lot of dumb shtee as a camp director but one that always sticks out in mind. After the week is over a mother comes roaring up to me and has murder in her eye. Having I introduced myself to the families less than an hour before she knew I was an authority figure in the camp. She is irate over the fact that her son told her other campers were using foul and distasteful language in front of her son. Assuming the worst I ask which words were used and she leans forward to me and whispers fart. Balls and butthole. Without trying to laugh I tell her I will discuss it with the staff. Did I mention that her son was a 15 year old teen camper? Work in a takeout food business. A lady ordered a delivery with about 3 meals. One of which had mushrooms in. She called about I would say 15 minutes after receiving her order to complain that I tried to kill her by putting mushrooms in her meal. She did not state that she or anyone had a mushroom allergy and went to yell and demand free stuff. The yelling lasted about 10 minutes of her just yelling and threatening to report us and all I could do was say why she did not state that she had an allergy. In the end she got nothing and funny enough ordered again about 3 weeks later. I was working at a hotel and a guy comes in and just slaps his ID on the counter without saying anything. I look up his reservation and it's not in the system. I tell him we don't have it and he flips out. Starts calling me incompetent and saying he's going to call corporate. Etc. Then he says he's been a Hilton Honors member for 5 years and how dare we lose our reservation. So I just pointed at the large sign on the wall behind me that said Holiday Inn Express. He said nothing. Snatched his ID off the counter and left. I work and produce. An older woman wanted gala apples. I showed her where they were at. And went about my business. She then walked up holding a bag of apples. And we had this exchange. Huh? I wanted galas. These are chelan apples. Me. Yes mom. Those are galas. Chelan is the brand. Huh? No. They're Chelans it says on the label. Me. Chelan is the brand. Mum. Those are galas. Huh? Oh well we'll see about that. Snooty F King tone by the way. Close bracket. She examines the bag as I stand there. Sets it down. And quietly says. Oh. You're right. And walks away. That's not the worst one. But the only one that comes to mind right now. Worked at a local upscale restaurant in the Midwest. We had bad weather coming in one night that turned from a tornado watch to a tornado warning. I stayed later than the rest of the staff minus two other managers who were going to stay put since they lived half an hour away and the tornado sirens just went off. I'm on my way out the door because I live 5 minutes away and run into the 20 person reservation that didn't answer their phone when we called 5 times to tell them we were closing due to the tornadoes. So we're outside. In a thunderstorm with the tornado sirens blaring and these people cannot grasp the situation and are acting like it's just a normal day. I try for a few minutes to get reason in their heads but they're having none of it. So I get the two other managers to deal with it and went home because I couldn't handle that level of stupid anymore. I was working in a frozen yogurt shop. And a customer requested that I surprise her with my choice of flavor and add-ons as well as the size. I created a medium chocolate topped with granola and rainbow sprinkles. She looked it over and said it was too small. Too crunchy. Unattractive. And oh by the way. She was allergic to chocolate. 
I had a customer's father call and yell at me. Because his daughter rented a storage unit at a different price he was quoted. His daughter who was in her 30s mind you. Had no problem with the price. No one at our location ever had a conversation with her father. I sat and listened to him tell me how awful at customer service I was. And all the people he referred to my location were going to move out now. Oh no. The kicker was his daughter left us a 5 star review on Yelp after she moved out. Praising us for our stellar customer service. Being a child of parents who treat wait staff and retail employees shtty sucks man. We can't really control them. Can't stop them from being asses. So in return we overcompensate with small niceties because we know that the issue isn't, normally, the employee's fault. Silently we beg you not to spit in our food and to forgive our forebears. How can my checking account be overdrawn? I still have checks left. Worked in a nightclub. Security. Man approached me stating the bar girl overcharged him and he would like to speak with the manager for a refund. No worries. Manager spoke to him. Reviewed footage and turned out he didn't even pay for the two shots and two vodka drinks. Man was asked to leave due to stealing. Carried on and demanded police come sort this out. Manager happily obliged. Police looked at the footage. He was arrested and charged for theft. Trespassing and public nuisance. All because he wanted to scam $26 from the venue. His charges amounted to $690. Fail. I was working in a movie theater and a lady in her 50s comes in. Comma I'd like a ticket for movie name. Comma the one at 8. 30? Comma yes. Comma that'll be $12 please. Comma starts shouting what? You just told me IT was 8. 30. Comma no ma'am. The movie is. Comma you just told me IT's 8. 30. Comma the mov. Comma this is ridiculous. So what is the price? Comma twelve dollars. Eight. Thirty is. Comma so what is eight? Thirty? Comma I see my manager coming. Comma deal with it with my manager. Bye. Comma go back to making popcorn. That day was also my 21st birthday. Did it. I work at a theater so I understand how frustratingly stupid people are. My favorite exchanges are. Customer. One senior. Me. Which movie? Customer. I said one senior ticket. Me. Okay. To what movie? Customer. Are you even listening? One. Senior. Ticket. Me. What movie do you want to see? I can't give you a ticket unless you tell me the movie. Them. This may not be the best. But it's the most recent. And one I find particularly amusing. I work as an admin at a body shop. It should be noted that I am a woman. And I tend to sound super young on the phone. A guy called in wanting an estimate. Gee. I want an estimate to replace the side view mirror on my truck. I got side swiped and it took the mirror off. E. Okay sir. I can certainly schedule you for an appointment. Gee. Can't you just do it over the phone? Me. We do prefer that you come in. Just in case there's damage that isn't obvious. Gee. Look. Sweetie. I just want an estimate for how much it will be to replace the mirror on a Silverado F-150. Me. Which one? Gee. What? Me. A Silverado or an F-150? Gee. I thought they were the same thing. Me. Overly polite and more than a little condescending at this point. No sir. Silverado is a Chevy and an F-150 is a Ford. F-king idiot. Customer. Your website says I can get free shipping. But when I'm in the checkout. It's charging me for shipping. That's false advertising. Me. Check shopping cart in order to qualify for the offer. You need to have $35 or more that is sold by our company. Two of the items in your cart are sold by third party merchants. See. Yes. $35. I have $40 in my cart right now. You're trying to steal from me. M. Two of the items in your cart do not qualify for the free shipping offer. 
They are sold by third party merchants. C. You just want to steal my money. If your site says free shipping. I should get free shipping. M. I would be happy to help you find some items that would qualify for the free shipping. And I have sent an email to your account detailing how to qualify for the free shipping offer. C. Reading the email under his breath. O. When I used to work at DQ. There was some lady who literally made me cry over Butterfinger. She didn't understand that what we got was called ground butterfingers and she wouldn't accept that I wasn't sabotaging her candy bars before making a blizzard with them. She made two other girls cry too. My boss ended up banning her from ever returning. The owners don't take sh tea from anyone and I love that. I used to work at a buffet as a manager cashier. And I remember this one customer that wanted a free meal because our food made her throw up. She claimed that she threw up in the bathroom. So I went to check up on it. The entire floor of the bathroom was littered with uneaten food straight from the buffet bar. I returned and, politely, called bullshit on her story. Her response. And I shit you not. Then are you calling me a liar? Do you really think I'd waste food like that? I smugly proceed to checking the cameras. We had one facing the hallway leading towards the bathroom, and showing her the footage of her heaping a plate with food. Entering the bathroom with said plate. And leaving with a magically empty plate. The look of horror and embarrassment on her face was priceless. She paid in the end too. It was Black Friday we sold out of a certain product. The woman told me to remove every ad because I'm not allowed to advertise something I don't have. That's not how this works. I also had a customer try to park his truck in my store. Yes. You read that right. He said he is allowed to park there because it doesn't explicitly say no parking. Well sir. Your ass doesn't explicitly say don't fck me. So how about you bend over? Not the most exciting. But I used to work in a countryside bookstore with a small kids play area adjacent to the main section of the store. Not within my line of the cashiers. We had plenty of signs plastered on the walls saying please don't leave your kids unattended as well as literally a ridiculous amount of signs warning about the small step from room of the store to another. One really haughty woman was rude about being asked several times to keep an eye on her kid who was pulling books off shelves. Next thing we know. There's shouting and tears because her kid has gone full speed through the store. Tripped on the step and hit his head on a shelf. A couple of days later she comes back and starts screaming at me. The 16 year old cashier. About how she's going to sue and that we are responsible for maiming her child through negligence. No satisfactory ending. I was really freaked out and an older co-worker took care of it. Nowadays I go the FCK in on people taking their own stupid issues out on minimum wage workers. Especially if they're picking on teenagers. In my teaching days. A parent near the end of the semester emails me and cc's the principal absolutely furious because of his son's failing grade. He says how I never gave his son the opportunity to succeed. That I should have notified them earlier in the year if he was struggling. I should adapt my lessons to match his son's needs. And that I was ruining his son's chances of getting into college and being financially independent. That's all well and good. Except I never had the kid in class. I didn't recognize the name and he was never enrolled on any of my rosters. When I used to work at Subway I was asked multiple times which one's bigger. The 6 inch or the foot long? I was astonished every time. I worked in a hipster grocery store. We sold cupcakes. Some of which were gluten free. Vegan. Etc. This woman comes up and tells me she wants a free cupcake. I was like. Free of what? Gluten free? Egg free? Comma. Not realizing what she was saying. She repeated that she wanted a free cupcake and tried to argue that the sign says they're free and she shouldn't have to pay for one before giving up. Five minutes later she's getting escorted out by security for asking random people for money. When I used to work on the phones in a bank I had a woman ring up to request an increase in her credit card limit. In order to increase her limit I had to go through a series of questions with her. Her employment. Income. Other borrowing etc. 
The woman started having a go at me for asking her very personal and intrusive questions. I explained that we needed to know her income to assess the affordability of her credit increase. With each question she got more and more irritated with how many questions there were. Eventually she burst into a rant. I don't know who you think you are phoning me up and asking me all these highly personal questions that are none of your business. It's nearly 9pm as well. And I think it's completely unacceptable for you to phone people at such a late hour to ask them questions like this. I just told her. Actually it was you who phoned me. I'm looking for the second Hobbit book. Oh. There is no second Hobbit book. Yes there is honey. I just saw the movie. The worst part is that we both work in the only mall in town and I see her all the time. Worked at a retail pharmacy. And after Christmas the gift sets, bath, perfume, and shave went on sale for 50% off. There were signs that clearly stated 50% off original price. All the sets clearly labeled with the original pricing. This woman loads her card up with a bunch of bath sets. And tells me she's paying $2. 50 for each set. The original price was $10. So the sale price would have been $5. I told her they were $5 and she flipped out saying she wasn't taking any of it. Cool beans. Whatever. Someone is gonna come along and buy them anyway. After I walked away she was telling the cashier how rude I was. She demands to know my name. And since I was still around the corner. I came back around and told her my name. Pointed to my name tag. And lived for the look on her face. Mixture of disbelief. Anger and embarrassment. FCK retail. A customer screamed at people over the phone for two and a half hours before finally getting to me, manager and billing, and argued with me for another two and a half because she claimed. How is it my responsibility to read my bill? Because she'd been charged for four years of HBO and something else for like $30 and wanted that money back. I worked at a call center for an online retailer. We shipped everything from a warehouse in Missouri and offered free ground shipping to the 48 states. Customer called in from Hawaii and wanted the free ground shipping. Explained to the customer that since we had to ship air, there would be a shipping charge. She argued what are you talking about? UPS drives up to my house and delivers ground. They don't drop packages off to me by airplane. I apologized and re-explained to the customer that it has to go air because there are no ground routes all the way from Missouri to Hawaii. She continued to argue her point with me. Eventually she said just ship it ground shipping and it will get to me no problems. Well. The problem with that idea is that the system literally wouldn't let you pick any ground options to Hawaii. The call finally ended with her screaming at me and hanging up. I worked at a certain pizza chain in high school and usually I manned the phones. I answered the phone to a very pleasant sounding woman who needed to place an order. After taking her small order and repeating it back to her she asked for extra garlic sauce. I informed her that it was 50 cents per cup. For some reason this sent her into an extremely loud tantrum. You could hear her from the phone all the way to the back of the store. My manager promptly took the phone from me and slammed it up. Told me if the customer wants to act like a child then they aren't worth your time. Sure enough. She called back a few seconds later. My manager answered. All I heard was an even more irate woman scream. Did you just fck I hang up on Emmy? Full stop. My manager calmly said. I don't mom did it sound like this. And then hung up again. That man is still one of my heroes. I worked in a grocery store deli. We had some pomade stuff. And there was a register down at the end that we sometimes operated from around 11. 31. 30 there was a line of about 10 people waiting to get meat or cheese sliced. This guy came and grabbed one of our pomade sandwiches then asked me if I could ring him up because the store was busy and he didn't want to wait at the regular registers. I told him I don't have the code to use the register. He asked me to go get someone he can. I told him I can't stop serving customers to go looking for someone who can operate the register. And it'd be faster if he just went up front. He demanded my name and said he was going to go talk to my manager. So I pointed to my name badge. 
then told him where customer service was. And that they could ring up his sandwich for him. The whole time I was still preparing a customer's order. And after the guy left even the customer commented about how that guy was an asshole. Customer comes out of his theater ranting and raving about how the images in the movie keep flying out at him I see that he has 3D glasses in his hand. So I tell him yes sir. The movie is in 3D. That's what happens. He flips out and demands a refund. Also had a woman complain that the movie didn't make any sense. So she wanted a refund. I was confused. As it was less than 5 minutes after showtime. There are usually 10-15 minutes of previews, so I told her the movie hadn't started yet. And that she was watching the previews. She said ohh and walked back to her theater.